uh, a writer says, I am bitter. Life has not treated me well. Sorry. <laughs> I, sorry, sorry, sorry. No. I know. I said no. I know it's wrong. I think Kathy's bitter. What should I do about it? Amy. No, I'm almost in tears at this question, and you're like, what one? You Sounds like a Charlie Brown no, show. I'm just, you know, some people, it, 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 I just, my heart breaks when they just experienced, you know, trauma and drama from early childhood and parents and drugs and alcohol and divorce. And I mean, I, I can't explain all of that, but I can immediately think about a story in the Bible in Ruth where Naomi, her husband dies, her sons die. She feels like she's lost everything. She tells the daughter in laws go, go live your life. Stay away from me because now I'm Mara. I'm a woman of bitterness. Right. But at the end of Ruth, and this is what I would encourage that person, you know, as we know, you know, Ruth and Boaz get together, they have a son, and the women all in the town say this to her, this woman of bitterness. May he be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. So I just think whatever has happened in this life of bitterness, it's not the end of the story. Amen. And let the chapters and the story develop and really know that God's plan is good ahead and he has a good plan for you. Okay. Powerful uh, because we, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. I, the only reason I'm jumping in is because I literally thought about the same exact story. And the key part for me was Naomi was able to express her bitterness. Oh, she, good. I think that's too good. often that's in the church, point. in the Christian mm -hmm. world, good. it's like as soon as someone starts to express any sort of despair or bitterness, we shut that down. We're like, oh, but look at other people in the world or oh, right. yeah, express your really, joy. You're a Christian, really right, you have right. to be joyful. And I mm -hmm. think we need to allow people People to express despair and sadness. We are yeah. Christians. We are not robots. We experience right. despair Come and on. sadness and real emotions. Yes. And Ruth stood beside her. She didn't try to fix it. She didn't try to guilt her. She, all she did was stand beside her, mm -hmm. walk beside her, mm -hmm. and go along with Naomi. That's what she did. And I think more of us need to do that with those who are experiencing those feelings. And in the end, Naomi was able to come out of that, but it wasn't because Ruth was like, rah, rah, I'm your cheerleader. She just simply walked beside her. That good so stuff, good, good stuff. Goodness really is a state of mind. And Proverbs mm -hmm. tells us that it is as rottenness in our bones, yep. you know? And in, in Ephesians, it talks about putting that bitterness away. So to yes. your point, how do I put it away, yeah. you know? And so I, I always say, God knows anyway what I'm dealing with. Like, I don't get this whole thing about pretending I'm not hurting or, yes. or pretending I'm not angry. Be angry and sin not. And when I'm bitter, and I've been bitter, you know, to go to my face, Roxanne, and just cry out before the Lord and ask for help and ask mm -hmm. for healing because it's poisonous. Right. It's poison. And what, what's in me is going to come out. Mm -hmm. What do you have for me? Well, I just thought about what everyone was saying that... Ruth left the land of bitterness and went to the land of promise. Mm -hmm. yeah, Bethlehem, the so land good. of bread. Come on. So, good. so yeah. and I think it's the Psalm wow. 73 that says, when I went into your sanctuary, I understood your ways. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we have to leave the land right. of bitterness and go to the land of promise. The Lord says, I will restore what the canker worm has right. eaten. I will restore you. So we look forward, Paul says, forgetting what's behind. That's right. Going for, we, we use what's behind to help us have compassion and empathy for others. But now what are you going to do going forward? You're going to go to the land of promise or stay in the land of bitterness? That's, That's right. Good. That's so good. So anyway, sorry I went rant, rant. But, <laughs> but I just, when I read that, life has not treated me well. I know. And I feel like... Pick it up, get moving, leave it behind you, and go to the house of the Lord because there's joy. So that's me. Amen.